Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of F1 2021 a career mode here on the channel I hope you all have a great day today We head to the Italian GP here in Monza three races remain on the season fresh off of our shocking First win of the season in the Belgian GP in the last episode at Spa Did not expect to come out of there with a victory especially with starting what two laps ago We were in what seventh or eighth place when that lap started and we won that race in probably the craziest finish We have ever seen in Formula One here now and that Puts us up to six in the driver's standings after a shock win. No podiums at all coming into the season or into that race in this season. And obviously we changed our whole season uh, round right there uh, in Spa. And now we head into uh, Monza track where we've had up and down luck over the past, what, three, four seasons that we've done here in this career mode. So I didn't uh, really know what kind of uh, expectations I should have set for myself coming into this one. Other than the fact that hopefully we have some strong points here today uh, in Monza. Now as we get the uh, practice session underway. And, you know, the car overall felt pretty good here. Another track as usual. My first time coming here uh, with no braking line. And then we're going to the next episode in Singapore. My favorite track on the calendar. Uh, my favorite racing circuit in the planet or on the planet uh, will be the last race this season where we have to really adapt to having no braking line because we go to end the season uh, at Brazil where obviously we've raced with a no braking line last season there. So just two more races of dealing with no braking line for the first time as a learning curve getting in preparations made for the F. 122 push here, uh, which I'm so excited for now, which is what a week and uh, just a couple days away because I'm going to be going for the champion edition to get the early access or whatever by three days. So uh, actually, I guess it would be a week from today when this video is going out on, I believe, a Tuesday. So it'd be a week from today uh, when we get to start the F122 career mode, which is pretty crazy to think about here. So I'm very excited and I hope you guys are excited uh, for the My Team career mode that we're doing versus the driver career mode actually uh, on that game. I'm very, very excited for it here, and I can't wait for you guys to see what I've got planned for it here now as we come through into qualifying, though, here in the Q1. I made some mistakes on my first lap and only went P17. I made a second attempt here, obviously, trying to better that and get into the top 15 because we had a way better car than P17, and we found way more pace here on this lap, but I had a bit of a moment again here on my second lap. Look at this going way wide out of that chicane, nearly into the DHL sponsor board, but fortunately didn't crash the car, didn't get a lap time in validation, and we actually still nearly better our lap by a full second go up into ninth place so we cruise into Q2 and I was pretty confident because I felt like we actually had even more pace than that right there so I was pretty confident we could maybe even uh, be on the verge of getting close to a top five here today uh, in Monza. Qualifying always been our weak point here in this F1 career mode we've only got one pole in our entire career I think that was uh, if, if I'm not mistaken was it with Aston Martin at uh, Baku uh, multiple seasons ago here now as we come through though into Q2 and we had already made a lap and went P6 so it was pretty competitive but I made a second lap just trying to better it uh, by a little bit here and we bent, went by about a tenth and a half better and we crossed the line and actually go P number four as our team at a Bontes was ahead of us but we would end up P9 behind Bontes and P7 but everybody was relatively close to each other so I felt like if we could just nail a lap we could really get a good qualifying position and that's what we come into Q3 trying to do just nail everything here now I was pretty uh, cautious going down into turn one made a bit of a mistake right there in turn two so it was already a bit of a sloppy start to the lap but it was actually somehow at this point in time the fact fastest sector one time but we ended up p8 across the line so making a second attempt here now we've made two attempts in every session so far and every time we've gone to a second attempt it's been a little bit better here now in turns one you see a little bit wide on the apex right there but we get a really good exit out of turn two and that's going to increase our time quite significantly here uh, as we were now coming through this second sector we are about a tenth and a half up closing in on two tenths of a second i've lost a little bit of time right there trying to get it back here down this long straightaway but by the time we come through this chicane right here we're going to actually gain about three tenths of a second through the final turn here. It's going to all be right here as we can really gain a lot of time compared to my last lap. And that's exactly what happens. We gain nearly two tenths of a second now and over half a second better as we come through to cross the line. It's going to be P2 on the board. Will it stick though as everybody was still having to come through and complete their laps? We would end up P3. So a couple tenths off, but our best qualifying effort in a long time. P3 off the grid. Let's go make it happen here in Monza. We're back in Italy once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. And what a great race is in store for us today here at the oldest circuit on the calendar. Monza hosted its first race all the way back in 1922. With the rain coming down here at the 3.6 mile Monza circuit, the low drag setups preferred by most teams could cause them some problems in today's Grand Prix. So watch out for cars struggling for grip around Parabolica, the last and most demanding of this track's 11 corners. 
Anthony Davidson is alongside me today, nice and dry up here in the commentary box. Uh, but how are you, Ant? Looking forward to the race? I'm very well, thank you, Crofty. Forgot my umbrella on the way up to the box, so I'm a little bit soggy, but I'll dry out soon enough. It's going to be an interesting race in this weather. Obviously, your strategy changes completely once it starts raining, as overtaking is a lot easier in the wet. The focus moves away from pure aerodynamic efficiency and tyre management, and of course the driver themselves can always make more of a difference in these conditions than in the dry. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and will start from pole position. And the golden boy completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel and Ricardo, Bottas, Giovinazzi, Stroll and Carlos Sainz, Leclerc, Gasly, George Russell and Lundgaard. Matsushita, Ocon, Mick Schumacher, and Guan Yu Zhou, Eilert, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. There you saw the starting grid, you see the weather conditions, you saw a grid penalty there for Gasly now as it is coming down here relatively well with the rain, but it's not too much to be on a wet compound tire. So starting on the intermediates here uh, for this Monza GP, and I was a little bit concerned uh, for the start of this actual race because I knew my starts aren't very good. This is a long run down towards turn one, and it's in the rain, which means my, my start's probably going to be absolutely horrendous here. So although we're starting P2, I was expecting to be down towards the bottom half the top 10 by the time we get down into turn one we've got to be very cautious of course make sure we don't slide the tires or lock up the brakes and whatnot here uh under breaking down into turn one which like we said a long run down into that corner lando norris myself and max verstappen your top three norris and verstappen fighting for a championship and so is sebastian vettel it's five red lights and it's lights on we are underway here in the italian gp in monza and sure enough it's a horrendous start for myself Sunoda's gonna cruise by on the right hand side he's gonna put the attack actually to the right hand side of lando Norris as we head down into turn one here. Yuki Sonoda trying to take the lead of the GP one last season in the Brazilian GP. Don't forget here now as it was, like I said, a terrible start for myself. We at least remain in the top ten. That's about the only positive though from that start for myself here. Now you saw some three wide with the Ferraris there uh, on the exit of turn two, but what a start though for Yuki Sonoda from uh, what row number two there to go around me and then get up alongside Lando Norris in a turn one, take the lead of the GP early on. Can he hold on? Of course with the rain coming down makes it a little bit more of an opportunity for him to be able to hold on here now as you can see myself cruising behind uh, the McLarens actually of Ricardo as well as Sebastian Vettel it was just such a horrendous start for myself fortunately we did remain ahead of our teammate of Valtteri Bontas so uh, another little small positive maybe to take out of the start of that GP and thank goodness we put in a really good qualifying effort because if we would have started where we usually been starting what 7th 8th place or something like that we could have been down to 14th 15th place here at the end of this first lap and it would have been a miserable Miserable, miserable GP for us to try and work our way through traffic here as Sonoda leads the way down towards that final uh, sweeping right-hander here as Norris tries to run him down in that sister Red Bull team here. Now, as we can actually see right there, some battling with the McLarens as well as the BMW, Sebastian Vettel's former team right there uh, in that BMW. Now, of course, which originally was Aston Martin before Vettel left here uh, as Antonio Giovinazzi is in a sandwich right now between Ricardo and Vettel there, but you can actually up ahead of us see Ricardo alongside you, but here down into turn one trying to make the move there and move up into fifth place here, and it looks like it's going to be a potential completed move. No, it's not. Juvenazzi gets some momentum there and gets the grip and he's going to actually remain ahead of Daniel Ricciardo for the time being, but Ricciardo would end up passing him eventually. Move up into fifth place here as we come through to lap four already here, uh, and you can see, actually, my DRS was actually turned off. It was a failure with the DRS, but obviously we're not going to need DRS here today so far at least, so it really wasn't much of a concern of losing that DRS here. Now, as I had to Pierre Gasly all over the back of me. He was able to pass Valtteri Bontes. He was on the move and actually would get to me with no problems whatsoever here on lap six and he's going to try and sweep over to the right hand side. I wasn't even going to fight him. I knew he had way more pace. I slowed up a little bit early. Let uh, Pierre take the position now as we drop into P8. Lots of uh, rain races here suddenly in this career mode now. I think we've had more rain in this season maybe than any other season. I remember last season we didn't have to put on the intermediate or wet compound tire in a 
a single GP. It was crazy here. Now, as you can see, a big moment from myself right there, and actually yellow flags for Pierre Gasly here on lap 8, who just had a mechanical failure directly in front of us there, and that's going to be the end of the day for Gasly, our first DNF here in Monza. Now, heartbreaking right there for Gasly, a winner of this GP, of course, uh, a few years back in real life now, uh, as we would now try to put the fight, though, to Giovinazzi here on lap 11, but the safety car is actually going to come out. Zhou Guan Yu is out of the session here on lap 11, and you can see it looks like he's had a big accident there, as we're going to go on board and see exactly what just happened here, as he comes through, just puts the throttle down way too hard, and into the barrier, uh, one heck of a hit right there for, uh, actually, Zhou Guan Yu, uh, as the safety car is out, everybody's coming into the pit lane, because we know if we pit here, we can not have to pit for the remainder of the GP, depending on when the rain stops, so we were double stacking, every team was double stacking, and fortunately for myself, I had a nice convenient entry into my pit box and exit, and actually we gain a little bit of ground here, so uh, we're going to be up to P6 here for the restart now, I was hoping 5th place, but uh, George Russell actually remains on the track, stays ahead of me, so uh, give us in, giving all of us a bit of a moment to calm down here, Zuka Sonoda continues to lead the way, Max Verstappen has lost a good chunk of track position in this championship battle right now against Lando Norris, that's not going to help him very much now, as he's a few spots behind myself here now, but as we came through to the conclusion of lap 14, getting ready to go back racing here in Monza, and it is supposed to stop raining in this GP, it's not like it's going to rain the whole time, and obviously the safety car slows things up just a little bit here in terms of the pace of this race, so that means the rain's going to stop a little bit earlier than originally planned, uh, so it's going to make it a little bit spicy to see how that could potentially work itself out. Ricardo of the inside of Lando Norris, a big lunge there, he passes George Russell, nearly passes Norris, I think he will, he's still wheel to wheel with the British Red Bull driver here, is they're going to be side by side through the sweeping right-hander, and there goes Ricardo up the spot in front of Lando Norris now, not the start that Lando was looking for as now Ricardo tries to chase down Sebastian Vettel, his teammate there on that McLaren Vodafone, uh, as well as the leader of Yuki Tsunoda, who's been in control since the start of this race. For myself, it was a decent restart here, still holding our own in P6 behind George Russell in the Alpine. Russell still has to pit, so I was expecting to see that soon, but at the end of this lap here, coming to lap 16, here comes Sebastian Vettel up the inside, actually, of Yuki Tsunoda to try and take the lead in Monza here. Now, as I was not expecting to see this, given how good tsunoda has been so far, but Vettel gonna go around the outside here, get the power down, has the grip, and he would actually pass Yuki Tsunoda, bringing Ricardo into the mix as well, who couldn't quite complete or have an opportunity to make a pass right there, but then you can see as well, Max Verstappen passing Antonio Giovinazzi here, down the front straightaway, coming to lap 17, down into turn one. This is just behind myself here, so one of the fastest cars on the grid, of course, trying to get up a position and then run myself down here, and sure enough, Verstappen takes a position here, moves up into P6, as we were now P5, uh, because George Russell had actually went into the pit lane there, so uh, Russell in the pits, we now run here in that fifth position, and Verstappen was closing in very, very quickly on myself, but then you can see Yuki Tsunoda would actually come into the pit lane here on lap 20. I believe he might have had some maybe contact with somebody, picked up some wing damage, so Tsunoda comes into the pit lane. Information on Verstappen, he's actually got some form of mechanical failure there. Jeff just reported to me here on lap 28 laps ago in the GP, so the pressure from Verstappen is eliminated, and you can see on the uh, leaderboard there on the top left, we were pulling away very, very quick from Max Verstappen suddenly here, so it looks like now we're up into fourth place because of Sonoda pitting. This is a great day. This is turning out for us here so far as it looks like it's going to be Vettel, Ricardo Norris, the potential podium. Now over five seconds between myself and Verstappen here on lap 22 here. As you can see, the battle behind us there as Bontas actually is going to have some contact right there with the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc who plows into the back of our teammate, loses his front wing, debris scatters everywhere. The safety car is actually going to come out on the track and you see a replay right there. A really awkward moment. Bontas was trying to make a move. I immediately called a pit because look, the rain has stopped and we still maybe have enough time for the track to dry up. I said we have nothing to lose. The rain had already stopped for about a lap or so. Let's come in and put on the medium compound tire and just hope that by the time we go back racing, the track is going to be dry enough to suit this tire and everybody around us stays out. So we took a very big risk here. Now as we're ninth on the grid, you can see myself struggling very hard uh, originally, but it would not take long. The track was drying up quick and we all of a sudden might be in position 
to win again here in Monza. You can see how good the track was looking. I put in a little bit of a competitive t uh, lap time here uh, under the safety car conditions just to test the waters. And this car and this tire, it was going to be enough to put the attack here with two laps to go to this grid. A risky call might, uh, might end up being the just perfect call we could have asked for here. Now, as you can see, uh, we were getting ready to go green flag racing with two laps to go. And there wasn't actually enough time for everybody to catch up to the back of the grid here of the queue to go back green here now. So it's only going to be like 11 cars or something like that. Uh, 10, 11 cars in this main battle here now as we are ready to go. Some cars actually pitted, by the way, for the soft compound tire. Uh, but here we are on the medium compound tire. And the other drivers on the dry compound tires are way behind, not even close to the queue here. As we are back underway, two laps to go here in Monza. Is all we have in this rundown towards turn one. It's Vettel and Ricardo leading the way into the corner. Then you got the Red Bull duo of Norris. And Verstappen is there's an accident down into turn one. It's Carlos Sainz slams into Antonio Giovinazzi. I am able to avoid it. No safety car with two laps to go. It stays green. A bunch of just mayhem down into turn one. You see it here. Carlos Sainz just simply drove into Bontas and then loses control. Crashes into Giovinazzi. What in the world happened there? You can see my view of it. I nearly find myself colliding with these guys as well here down into turn one. Like we said, no safety car. The race continues on here and we have the dry compound tire in. These intermediates are no contest. A lunt up the inside of Verstappen. An easy pass here. And now we're all over the back of Lando Norris and it's just a matter of moments until we pass him. The only thing these guys have going for them is straight line speed here. Now is we're going to go up the right hand side of Lando and up into a third and podium position we go. We won in the last episode with a freak incident that happened late in that race that benefited us uh, tremendously. And now it's going to be a strategy call with the safety car timing being absolutely perfect. That might give us another win. Back to back we clear Ricardo through the final turn up to my favorite Formula 1 driver on the planet here, Sebastian Vettel, the four-time world champion. We're going to pass him and take the lead coming to the final lap of this GP fastest lap of the race. And here comes Vettel who's going to try and fight back here with that straight line speed but it's not going to be enough because we're going to be able to break a little bit later here into turn one than he is capable of doing on the intermediate compound tire. And we hold him off and an unbelievable turn of events again for the second back-to-back -back episode here in Monza. We won in Spa after what we already mentioned with the big accident there and this time it took a safety car uh, from Charles Leclerc running into the back of our teammate Avatari Bontas uh, in the rain had already stopped by about a lap or two and it gave us the opportunity to make a risky call in a moment where we're not fighting for a championship we can take risky calls and it worked out to perfection here as we head down this back straight away into this final turn and an unbelievable turn of events once again back to back we're gonna win in spa and we're gonna exit the final turn and we're gonna go two wins in a row and we're gonna win the italian gp here in monza unbelievable to say the least here what a season this has become going from so much frustration to suddenly two back-to-back -back wins when obviously we didn't have a car capable of winning both of these races but we pulled it off with a lot of fortune on our side let's head to the podium as Ocon wins driver of the day they made great use of the clear air today then and didn't allow anyone to exploit the slipstream behind them what a great win here at Monza Anthony Davidson a resounding victory today what set them apart from the rest well they played the safety car to absolute perfection there are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized I mean do you pit for fresh rubber do you have the space behind you how much fuel can you save if you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. What a GP, to say the least here. So uh, just ecstatic from that one here. Now a Canadian back on the top step of the podium, back-to-back -back GPs here uh, in Monza. I mean, it was just an absolutely insane, insane ending right there to that race. And it, we definitely had our moments in this race where we saw Zhou Guan Yu uh, have, have his accident there, bring out a safety car the first time. And then uh, a bit surprised to see a safety car come out the second time for the reason that it did. But obviously I'm not complaining because it just gifted us a victory here in this race here so i mean so so happy with how that turned out bontas down in eighth place bontas is luck this season hasn't been uh, very good and obviously today was another indication of that last episode as well but he got caught up in that accident right there on this restart here at the very end of this race and uh, was put way back there so very unfortunate uh, for valtteri but we're going to take a look at the championship standings here after a bit of a shake up in the running order look at this with two races ago lando norris is tied for the championship lead with Vettel and verstappen is only one back we're 
suddenly only 42 points out. We are not even mathematically eliminated from this championship yet with two races remaining. I mean, if something crazy happens uh, in Singapore, I mean, never say never. Uh, as you can see, the constructors, we are up ahead of Ferrari now with this Mercedes team here. Now, as in the next episode, we head to my favorite circuit on the planet where we have always been able to go to Singapore and take a car that maybe isn't the best and just sort it out and find a way to run good there. So hopefully we can repeat that in. Honestly, if uh, Ricardo, or not even Ricardo, we don't need him to have issues, but if Verstappen, uh, Vettel, and Lando Norris, if we have like a miracle run and they all have some type of mechanical failure or something, and we somehow win the GP, I mean, never say never. Who knows what could happen going into the Brazilian GP to end the season, but like I said, what a season it has turned into. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like uh, and comment. Those that do so much for helping us out here uh, on the channel in the future, and I would appreciate if we could do those here now as we have just two races left, a part of the Sef1 2021 career mode. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one for the Singapore GP. Let's see what happens there. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.